You're listening to the ESO Network, your station for all things geek. Hey there, welcome to episode 276 of the Soul Forge podcast. Welcome to the Soul Forge, a place of silent mystery, quiet contemplation, and outright mayhem. Join your host, Sean Vanderloo, as he guides you through the adventures of living. Together, we'll talk about life and love, sex and dating, joy and heartache, memories and loss, and so much more. Don't worry, it's not nearly as pretentious as it sounds. Get ready for life, the universe, and everything on The Soul Forge. Hey gang, welcome back to the show. So glad you could make it. Have I got a story for you? Maybe you already know about it because, well, the title of the episode is I Went Viral and boy howdy, did I ever go viral. Have you ever gone viral? Do you know what viral means? Well, basically what viral means for those not in the know, to go viral is a video, an image, a story or something else to spread quickly and widely among internet users via social networking sites, email, etc. So basically what that means is something gets really popular really fast. And let me tell you the story of what happened to me. Okay, so last Wednesday, uh, let me just look up the calendar here, that was January 25th. I went to Walmart in my hometown just because I needed to pick up something. And as I was entering the store, I noticed that a lot of the shopping carts had little coin uh, receptacles, coin slots, because what they want to do is, uh, and you've probably seen this at a lot of different grocery stores and places, they, uh, they make you pay something to unlock the cart and take it around the store, and then at the end of your shopping trip, you take it back to the cart corral and take the chain from the other cart, plug it into your receptacle, and you get your coin back. Uh, And that way they eliminate cart boys, and people just generally bring their carts back instead of leaving it all over the, uh, the parking lot or wherever. That was January 25th, and the lady at the front said, oh yeah, that's starting February 1st. And so I'm like, oh, okay. So I took a quick video, just a seven second video. It said, starting February 1st, Walmart is going to charge you a dollar to take out their carts. That's fun. And that's all it was. It wasn't a complete thought. I almost didn't post the the thing. I thought nothing more of it. Now, most of my TikTok videos get between two and 300 views. Uh, Some of them might get into the the low thousands. Uh, I did have one last, uh, what was it, April or May, that uh, went mini viral, I guess, and within a couple days it had 100,000 views. Um, That was a 15-second video of me recruiting people for Canada Post to be mailmen, letter carriers, whatever. So that that was pretty cool. It, It never got any attention, really, just, you know, 100,000 plus views. That's pretty cool. So anyway, this silly video that I posted last Wednesday blew up. Uh, After, what was it, three days, it had 5 million views. And now I'm recording this the following Wednesday, February 1st. And this episode comes out on the 2nd. But uh, it's got 10.4 million views. Actually, let me just pull up my TikTok account here just to get all the accurate information. Hello, patient Jay. My name is Dr. Oh, that's a, that's an ad. Never mind that. Uh, let me get it there. And let's see. Yeah, oh, it's actually at 10.5 million now. Here it is. Starting February 1st, Walmart is going to charge you a dollar to take out their carts. That's fun. And that's all it was. That's all. Get me out of here. That's that's all I had said. It was, it was pretty silly. It didn't mean anything. It was just kind of a fun little thing. And so now it's got, let me just see here. It's got 
5 million views, 838,000 likes, 34,500 comments, uh, and 54,000 favorites or saves. And it's absolutely freaking ridiculous. It makes no sense. I don't know why it blew up. Wednesday afternoon, a seven second video. And there it is. And I went from 790 some followers. Uh, and a week later, I've now got 7,554. So what's that? 6,700 uh, extra followers just because of this silly video. I don't, I don't understand it. It's, it's awesome. Um, the comments are crazy. People think, uh, they're, they're, uh, being actually charged a dollar and you don't get it back. A lot of the comments, uh, were talking about, uh, oh, I guess, uh, that's a pretty good deal for a cart. Uh, I guess I get to take it home with me or that, that's, that's highway robbery. I'm just going to steal stuff. Uh, some people figured it out and it, they, they said, oh, it's just like Aldi, which I guess is some kind of grocery store chain. I've never heard of it until this past week. But yeah, it's it's standard procedure at a lot of grocery stores here in town. Uh, you put a coin in, usually it's 25 cents, and uh, you do your shopping, you put the cart back and you get your coin back. Here uh, in Canada, as many of you will know, we have the $1 coin called the Looney. And that's what Walmart is uh, going to charge us. Well, not really charge us. It's more of a deposit. And a, a lot of the, the people not from Canada couldn't understand it. They thought it was fake or they're like, oh, how, how are you going to put a dollar in there? I guess it's four quarters. Uh, I, 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 they better have Apple Pay. So people were outraged. Uh, people were amused at the, uh, the lack of understanding. Ten and a half million views. I, I wish I could get my podcast to go viral. So yeah, just this past week, that's all I've been doing. Not all I've been doing, obviously, but uh, f just monitoring that and uh, being amused by some of the comments. I've responded to a few here and there, but it was impossible to respond to uh, 30 some thousand comments because, well, who has the time for that? I don't have a social media secretary. But something funny did happen. I actually was featured in, I, would, I don't know if I would call it a news article per se, but uh, an, an online, yeah, an online, an online article, I guess, by the Daily Dot. Um, so after the break, I am going to read you that article. In the mood to listen to some geeky conversations? Feel like the internet isn't the best place for an in-depth, respectful exchange of ideas? Then head on down to the 42 Cast. It's a weekly show that covers a new geeky topic in comics, TV, movies, literature, or video games every week. We can be informative. Back in my day, kids, Pluto was a planet, so it's going to stay a planet. <laughs> Irreverent. You learn so much from the X-Men. I mean, really. That Wolverine is the most important character no matter what. <laughs> Strange. It's like, you know, Grodd if he went into theology or something. Right? Or controversial. I believe and I will swear to my dying day that the Marvel Cinematic Universe began with Howard the Duck. Find us on Stitcher Radio, iTunes, 42cast.com, or ESOPodcast.com. It's the 42cast, your ultimate answer to fandom, geekiness, and everything. And we're back. Hope you enjoyed that promo from the 42cast. Go check them out if you care to. Uh, but anyway... Like I promised before the break, I'm going to read you the article from the Daily Dot, which was published uh, January 29th and then updated today because the person contacted me on Instagram for my comments on the thing. So without further ado, let me read this article to you if it will allow me to do so. Okay, it says here, a user on TikTok has gone viral after claiming that Walmart customers will soon be required to pay a dollar to use a cart. In a video with over 7.2 million views as of Sunday, TikTok user Sean at Soulforge Podcast shows an apparent payment mechanism attached to a cart at Walmart. Starting February 1st, Walmart is going to charge you a dollar to take out their carts, Sean says. At first... TikTok users appeared outraged. Now I have a great reason to start stuffing my pockets, wrote one user. 
Well, I'll have to hook up the trailer to the Jeep so I can take the cart home with me, another added. If I'm paying for it, I'm keeping it. I should charge them for bringing the cart in from the parking lot, another exclaimed. However, there are a few things that TikTok users are misunderstanding about this video. First, Sean is based in Canada, where dollar coins are more common. While it is unclear if the policy will exist across Canada, there are new stories from regions like Thunder Bay that indicate that this policy is in fact being rolled out at some Canadian locations. Second, it appears that the dollar coin inserted into the cart is a deposit, not a fee. When one's shopping is complete, they can return their cart and receive their dollar back. As other users on TikTok pointed out, this is a fairly common system in both the US and Europe. It's like Aldi's, once you put the key back in, you get your dollar back, a user claimed. This isn't new. Bigger urban cities have been doing this since the 90s. Aldi has done it for years, a second user stated, so now Walmart eliminates, eliminates having to fetch their carts. If you ever lived in Germany, you'll understand, shared a third. As evidenced by the comments above, Grocery chain Aldi has had a system like this in place in the United States for years. In order to take out a cart, one must deposit a quarter. When they're done shopping, they get their quarter back. Aldi explains this policy on their website. This 25 cent deposit ultimately saves our customers money because we don't have to hire extra staff to collect grocery carts, the site reads. To unlock a cart, customers have to insert a quarter and this deposit ensures shoppers return their cart to the corral to get their quarter back. Still, some users were less than enthusiastic. Next thing they'll do is have you stock the shelves too, a commenter joked. And then it was updated earlier today and the article goes on to say, while Walmart has not confirmed that this will be a policy all over Canada, Sean says that he has heard it will spread all over the country. And then they quoted me, I first found out the day I posted the video, Sean wrote in an Instagram direct message to the Daily Dot. I walked into Walmart to get batteries for my podcast equipment and people were talking about it. So I made a quick video, spur of the moment. Sean has a podcast called, and this is where they got this wrong, the Source Forge Podcast. This system is not uncommon in Canada, he explained. Here in Canada, it's pretty standard. Not all stores do it, but a lot of grocery stores already do, he detailed. No Frills has been doing this for many years. It's usually a quarter, but no one cares about those. So they've gone to the dollar coin because everybody wants those back. That was pretty much the article. Um, they they had asked me in the Instagram interview if there was anything I wanted uh, anybody else to know. And basically I said, yeah, let them know I have the uh, Soul Forge podcast. And they wrote it down as the Source Fo Forge podcast. So that's not going to go viral now, is it? But anyway, uh, that's basically what happened to me over the last week. I always wanted to be rich and famous when I was a kid. Uh, and now I have a famous video. I'm, I'm not rich. Uh, my, my buddy kept asking me, uh, so did you get paid? Did you get paid for this? And no, there has been no payment for it. Uh, I, I guess some TikTok users get paid for things, but I think that's only American ones. Uh, in Canada, we don't get anything. Uh, but I got uh, a lot of new followers. I got a cool article written about me, even if they named the podcast wrong. Uh, lots of views. Um, a lot of my other videos have gotten some good amount of views because of all the new followers. It hasn't translated into any podcast listens as far as I can tell, but you never know what might happen down the road. Yeah, so that's that's basically what's been happening. Have you ever gone viral? Would you like to go viral? I, I would love to be able to tell you how to go viral, but I've got no friggin' idea. I, I've been on TikTok since last April when uh, my brother Robin said, hey, sign up because uh, there's a deal that if you sign up, I get some money. So I did. And then I got hooked and I've just been making random videos here and there and whatever. And uh, a few hundred views here, a couple thousand there, 100,000 there, 30,000 there, mostly between two and 300. And then a week later, 10 and a half million. So pretty cool. And that's pretty much all there is to that uh just a quick uh, little update this week short short podcast but i uh, just wanted to see how you guys are all doing out there in podcast land let you know what's been happening over here um i will put a link to the tiktok video and the daily dot article in the show notes uh if you'd like to read or see the video or whatever 
it's no big deal. It was just a quick seven seconds. Uh, my face isn't even in it. It was just me being silly, and I almost didn't post the, th- post the thing at all, but there it is. So I uh, hope you guys will all take care of yourselves and each other and tell everybody you know about the podcast because uh, obviously Source Forge podcast is not going to uh, be a thing unless I change the name. So love y'all, take care, and remember, stars can't shine without darkness. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Soul Forge podcast. Your support is greatly appreciated and we hope you'll tune in again next time. Remember that you can visit soulforgepodcast.com for all of our social media links. And don't forget to share the show with everyone you know. The Soul Forge Podcast is your best source for living your best life. Think about it. This has been a broadcast of the ESO Network. Be part of the crew and help support our shows by donating to our ESO Patreon or by shopping for the Tee Public Store which can all be found at www.esonetwork.com. The ESO Network, your station for all things geek.